Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, but if you're new here, my name's Tyler and I just do consistent content on all things related hockey in the HL overall, and holy moly, do we have something to discuss. Now look, I understand this is just a rumor from specifically one person, nonetheless. I know that there's been rumors regarding Eichel for quite some time now, and more fan-driven rumors than anything, with him possibly going to the New York Rangers in the future, but... Bob McKenzie breaking out today, of course, Bob McKenzie, we all know Bobby Margarita, as we all like to call him, as he likes to call himself, coming out today with a absolute bomb out of nowhere, a whole thread on Twitter in which I will have it in the description down below regarding Jack Eichel and rumors have circulated around him in which he was hearing from today how the Buffalo Sabres have had calls with teams, including the only team that he mentioned, at least the New York Rangers with possibly dealing Jack Eichel. Now, Bob McKenzie did make it clear the Sabres are not trying to tra trade Eichel by any means, but there is an obvious factor between Eichel's agent stating how Eichel wants to win now, which has built his frustration, and rightfully so. You don't blame the guy. Yes, he's only 23 years old, but of course you want to win, especially when you're of Eichel's caliber, but it's all about the matter of between Buffalo and Eichel reaching that middle when it comes to him staying long term and having a team around him in which he feels is best for him and succeeding in the future for playoff runs and hopefully Stanley Cup runs for his sake and Buffalo's sake, right? But we all know there's been a lot of difficulty, uh, difficulties with the Buffalo Sabres for quite some time between their ownership and their management. And yes, they do have a new GM in place now. But since then, that is when the Eichel rumors have really picked up with many teams showing interest in the likes of Eichel, including the New York Rangers. I'm sure there are others as well, but the Rangers were the only noted team from what uh, Bob McKenzie put out. So that is that is crazy to think about from a New York Rangers standpoint as a Rangers fan and just as a hockey fan overall. Buffalo Sabres fans are like, what the hell are you talking about? There's no way. I, I completely understand that. I completely agree. This is all just speculative right now and discussing what has just come out from Bob McKenzie and really nothing more. But the New York Rangers, why would Jack Eichel make a perfect sense besides him being Jack Eichel? Well, let's start off with... Boston University. We all know that story there between Jack Eichel and David Quinn. David Quinn, of course, the head coach for the New York Rangers, was the head coach for Jack Eichel during his time in BU in college in the SAA before he made that next step to the NHL. They've had plenty of success together. They know each other quite well, and boy, would that be something to see them reunite in the Rangers blue. That would be music to my ears, truly, and I know it wouldn't be for Buffalo Sabres fans. The Sabres, we don't really know what direction they're going in. They plan to address the goaltending this offseason. They have so much capital space some of the most in the NHL this offseason nonetheless but they do have plenty of guys they need to resign including the likes of Sam Sam Reinhardt among others so they will make plenty of uh, moves this offseason I fully uh, envision it to happen they brought in Eric Stahl as well which is a perfect guy to have as their second line centerman at least for now and to really help the likes of Dylan Cousins also in that lineup going forward to help him going forward assuming Dylan Cousins is with the roster next year either with the team or in the AHL I'm not sure what his status is but there's a lot of potential behind him and just having other young guys in that core group you know I, uh, Stahl can still provide a lot for you but nonetheless Buffalo I'm not sure what direction they're going in and Jack Eichel yes he doesn't have too much of a say into possibly being dealt and it doesn't seem like he wants to be dealt. But should the opportunity present itself between these two teams, because discussions has happened, it is something worth noting and talking about with you today. So Jack Eichel, we all know him, the star sentiment, one of the better players in the entire NHL, drafted second overall in the 2015 draft back, uh, in 2015, of course, only to the likes of Connor McDavid. What a draft that was. But seriously, Eichel has been phenomenal in his career. He's over point per game, or close to over point per game, I should say. 354 total games, Eichel has 337 points, including 137 assists, I mean 137 goals and 200 assists. This past season, he was over point per game that his best statistical season to date based on points per game percentage he had of course he had 36 goals and 42 points in 68 games for a total of 70 78 points i believe remarkable numbers and the year prior had 82 points including 28 goals and 54 assists but in more games so nonetheless eichel has been tremendous for the buffalo sabers throughout his entire young ten uh tenure with the buffalo sabers has dealt with some injuries earlier in his career but really over these past couple years has looked better nonetheless and as long as that continues, great things are going to happen with Eichel and with the Buffalo Sabres or wherever he lands. So how do the Rangers come into play here? Eichel, of course, has a cap it of 10 mil for another six years on his contract. That is quite the cap it, but well worth it at the same time. His no movement clause, which he has on his contract for the entirety of his contract, 
kicks in starting the 2022-2023 season and also his bonus kicks in so these are two factors to get into consideration if Jack Eichel is for whatever reason really being considered to be dealt by the Buffalo Sabres which would be insane I don't know why they would do such a thing but should the opportunity present itself it will be sooner rather than later it would have to be before that no movement clause kicks in assumably at least it's not saying that can't happen after the fact but it would make more sense for both sides if that were the case and that that way they can really max maximize his return but at the same time what is a return for the likes of jack eichel who's only 23 years old who knows what his ceiling is going to be in the nhl at this point because how remarkable he already is he has the potential to easily be a 90 100 point centerman without doubt in the nhl and he's only getting started as long as he stays healthy the sky truly looks like the limit for the young man from boston of course so i I'm really curious to see how this all pans out, if anything significant comes out of this, because lo and behold, in the end of the thread of Bob McKenzie's tweets, it was that Jack Eichel does not want to leave Boston and um, not Boston, uh, Buffalo and the Buffalo Sabres don't want to get rid of Eichel. But he he said that basically sarcastically. He's like, all right, go move along now going back to working on the draft, uh, mock draft and stuff. So nonetheless, Jack Eichel, I would as a Rangers fan, I would be absolutely ecstatic, but it would take a lot. It would be insane. I don't know how they would figure that out. Um, I think it almost seems more realistic. If a deal were to happen, it wouldn't necessarily be this offseason, maybe more so next offseason, if that were to happen and the opportunity presents itself. But from the Rangers side of things, I have no clue what they would have to give up for the likes of Jack Eichel. I almost feel like they would be able to do it without giving up the first overall pick, assuming it doesn't happen this offseason per se. This is all assumption that say more talks pick up. I'm really unsure at this moment, as everyone else is. We're just speaking this off of the recent report by Bob, Bob McKenzie, nonetheless. But this or next off, you'd have to assume they would want the Rangers' top prospects. You're talking Vitaly Kratsov and Niels Lundqvist easily, or Keandre Miller, one of those two. I don't see how Buffalo doesn't accept anything less with those guys being crucial parts of it. Then you add in a first-round pick. If it was this year, it would probably be the 22nd overall first-round pick. Next year, their first-round pick next year. I, I think the Rangers could get away without giving the first overall pick for the likes of Eichel, given all the assets they have. But if Buffalo does demand the first overall pick, if, say, talks were to happen this offseason, I'm not sure how that would work, truly. I really don't. I don't, I don't think the Rangers would want to give up, even for the likes of Jack Eichel and Buffalo obviously wouldn't want to give up Jack Eichel for the centerpiece to be a first overall pick so I'm really not sure there this is just all hypothetical now but when you think of players of course if the Buffalo is looking to of course get top tier prospects and young guys in that lineup it really could go either way but there comes a bigger situation for the rangers at least in this point in time they currently have a cap space of just over 20 mil after training the likes of mark Stahl. yes that seemed to go hand in hand with wanting to make sure they can re-sign the likes of tony d'angelo among others but nonetheless how is this going to factor in with the likes of mika zbanjad um i don't have it right up for me but i'm pretty sure zbanjad only has a couple years left on his contract on a very team friendly contract and is due for a big payday so when it comes to zbanjad I don't think the Rangers would be able to balance having both him and Eichel as their 1 and 2C. I just don't see it happening. So if the deal were to happen, Zibanejad could very well be part of that deal. And I love Zibanejad. I would I would not want to see him go. The only exception truly would be in the sense of a Jack Eichel return and really nothing less. Zibanejad is an amazing player. I do not want him to be lost by any means. But I don't see how the Rangers would necessarily be able to keep them as say a 1A and 1B tandem at that center front in the top six with regarding the cap situation yes Henrik Lundqvist will be off the books whether he's bought out within the next week or so or if he say retires retirement would be the best scenario for the Rangers and great but I don't see that happening but regardless that cap will be off the books for the Rangers sooner rather than later of course he has one more year left on his cap of 8.5 mil and the Rangers also have some other contracts they may deal or try to get rid of Brendan Smith comes to mind as well has over a cap, has a cap of over four mil so I wonder what's going to happen there they could get rid of Stahl I very well envision them getting rid of Smith too but he has been a good mentor for the likes of Capococco. He was his roommate this past year, really helped him a lot helped him out a lot transitioning to North America and the big city itself. So a lot of things to consider. This is all hypothetical right now, but nonetheless, if any of this picks up, I assure you I will be right here to cover it and discuss it with you guys because it is just baffling thinking thinking of the idea of Jack Eichel coming to the New York Rangers. Like Buffalo Sabres fans are probably not going to enjoy this video and I understand that. But from a Rangers perspective it's if this is like another um early christmas seriously like it is just the thought of the rangers going after the likes of eichel 
it would take a haul it would be a huge cap hit on their end and it would be hard to balance assuming that they would still draft and keep alexi lafreniere for instance once this elc is up same with other guys in that lineup as well they have plenty of young rookies that are going to be due for big paydays sooner rather than later which makes this more of an unrealistic possibility but the rangers are calling for a reason and jeff gordon is a fantastic gm i love everything about him i think he's been phenomenal as the rangers gm over these past years as they continue through this rebuild more like retool but nonetheless i'm ecstatic just at the thought of this like i'm i'm baffled i'm truly baffled i was not expecting to see that from bob mckenzie today he just laid it on me and it is what it is i'm not upset about it at all um i think regardless of if this picks up or not good things will come out of it i hope for eichel's sake that he is happy in the end and if that is with buffalo and they can really make a team around him and try to compete for playoffs sooner rather than later then that's great but the sabers really know that they have a window at this point because they don't intend on trading him before that no movement clause kicks in obviously i would assume so you really have two years you have two years to figure this out and it may be less and maybe more given who you're talking to exactly but that bonus they wouldn't want to sign give to him if they're going to trade him same thing with that no movement clause they need to make sure they deal him before that kicks in more than likely so the times are ticking for the buffalo sabers and jack eichel and if he will in fact finish his career with the Sabres or at least have a prolonged career with them or will things reach a stalemate sooner than later and we see Jack Eichel being dealt and possibly to the New York Rangers I have no clue but I'm ecstatic at just the thought of it nonetheless I would love to hear your thoughts guys let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on this reporting by Bob McKenzie do you think there's any chance Jack Eichel gets dealt within the next year or so because I feel that there is a possibility like anything else and that is why these kind of reports come out. Teams wouldn't be calling if they weren't heavily interested, or at least just throwing out the idea as to, hey, I see, you know, you have Jack Eichel in there. What what would it take for him? Realistically, what is a ballpark of what you think right now? If you were to even consider the thought of moving a guy like Jack Eichel, what are some players that you would have in mind? What kind of prospects? What kind of picks would you have in mind? These are discussions I'm sure have been dealt with already and are continuing to deal with which is why mckenzie just reported on hearing these rumors ongoing but i would love to hear your thoughts guys let me know in the comments below as always check out my previous videos regarding other ranger stuff related regarding mark stall being traded or just other videos in general regarding other trade rumors among other things hit that like and subscribe button if you did in fact enjoy this kind of hockey content it would mean a lot to me guys thank you all so much for the love and appreciation uh thus far on this channel it means so much to me truly and make sure to stay tuned for tonight i'm preparing to do another live stream for game six of the stanley cup finals between the dallas stars and Tampa Bay lightning i hope to see you there we're gonna have a lot of fun i'm editing some things too, gain some help as well from my guy python uh um, um, I'm sure he's doing a video on Eichel too, but nonetheless, this is going to be a really fun live stream tonight. I hope to see you guys there. It very well could be the last live stream of this year's 2020 Stanley Cup playoffs. So I guess we'll have to wait and see, but make sure to check all my previous uh, videos out guys. Comment down below and hit subscribe and a like if you like this kind of hockey content and I'll be back very, very soon.